Hi you guys, welcome back to another first impression video. We have some new sewing patterns from the new, very still new pattern company called Know Me by Mimi G. I did my first review of them probably four or five months ago. Um, and now they've released a whole new collection of patterns. I know I had a lot of questions that first go around and I think I'll be able to answer a lot of them now that we have two full collections. Um, one of my initial questions was, are we gonna have the same designers every time or are they gonna swap them out for each um, collection? And it looks like for the most part, everybody that is a part of this collection was a part of the last one. I don't think, well, I think that's Gwen. Yeah, she might be new. It looks like they might be sprinkling in new designers. As we go, this was last time's collection here, the the ones that start with 001. Um, so that sort of answers that question, which is good. I think that um, it'll be interesting to see kind of, you know, as each designer releases a new pattern for each new collection, I think we'll start to kind of develop a, a, an idea of their specific aesthetic. And then you'll know, like, if Brittany releases a new pattern and you love what Brittany's work, what Brittany's done before, then you're going to be like, I'm getting Brittany's new pattern, you know, no matter what it is, or at least you're excited to see it. So you'll start to develop the same sort of like brand loyalty as you do for a brand, but it'll just be a designer within a brand. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and obviously this is a great way to get to know new designers as well. Some of these people are pretty big on Instagram. So I know them already, but um, if you're not there, then these might these people might be new to you. But either way, let's get into it. Um, this is a women's knit top and skirt by Brittany J. Jones. Knit top and skirt features top with square or scoop neckline, sleeve variations, plus a high waist skirt in two lengths with asymmetrical button detail. Cute. Okay, so I love that this is knit because I would not have thought that at first. Um, she's got some wonderful princess seams here and then a little band in the bottom. I'm wondering if there's elastic in there at all. I love the wide shoulder straps. I love how set apart they are, like a nice big open square neckline. And then here is the rounded neckline version with a sleeve also. This is super cute. I mean, she's very, um, what would you call it, short-waisted. So this top looks like, you know, not very long. But for her, the proportions are perfect. Um, I'm also pretty short-waisted. I might be a little bit longer than her. Um, so I'm curious to know if there's, like, is this going to be bra length? Does this sit on the underbust for everybody? Um, and then you just hike the skirt up? I don't know. But I'm sure it's easy to extend these pieces, too. The skirt is also super cute. I'm guessing you don't need the buttons, right? This is not actually a functional situation. It's elastic and knit. The buttons are just a cute detail. I love this where she unbuttoned a whole bunch of them. Nice. Yup. Lovely. I'm also assuming there's facings in here, I'm guessing. I'm not seeing any stitching on the top and this is clearly like a ponty knit or something similar the fit looks really good on her when we talk a lot about shoulder length um i think this is perfect all right here are the top here are the line drawings yep perfect I mean, it's a simple design. I mean, it's not like, you know, got a ton of bells and whistles or anything, but I definitely think it makes an impact um, when wearing it, which I, that's one of the reasons why I like fashion and sewing. Um, it doesn't have to be complicated all the time. Okay, so ponty knits, double knit, and scuba are what they are recommending here. Now, I didn't see a zipper anywhere on the top. So I'm wondering how easy that is to get in and out of, considering these don't have very much stretch at all. Um, I do have some lighter weight ponties that have a little bit more stretch, but I guess you just have to be a little bit 
cautious. I It doesn't say to check the little like stretch guide or whatever. I wonder if it has one of those on the printed version. That would be helpful. I gotta imagine it's not very much, but I wonder if there is a percentage that you should keep in mind, you know? It's really cute. I could see myself making that for sure. All right, seven buttons, uh, elastic. Okay, so all you need is the one and three quarter inch elastic for the skirt. I love that it's a nice chunky elastic. I'm sorry, one and one quarter inch elastic. Um, Yeah, one yard and then one and five eighths yards for the larger sizes. Yeah, absolutely love that it's nice, big, chunky elastic for that waistband. But that also means there's no elastic down here. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. It would come to, oh, yeah, because I don't think the band, mm, I don't know. The band is, a, maybe I would make the band longer. Maybe if the band, let's go back to the photos. If the band were the same width as the the top band were the same width as the skirt maybe that would help the eye a little bit again i'm being super nitpicky here like i tend to do um but this feels a little bit like well i guess in the sleeve version it's okay this is starting to go well i take it all back it's fine <laughs> It's fine. I can really, if you allow me, I will overthink just about anything. Um, all right. So this is Mrs. and Women's sizing. So we've got 10 to 18 up here and then 20 to 38 down here. Um, does that mean all the sizes are in one envelope? That's pretty cool. We've got finished. We're not doing finished garment measurements. Body measurement, body measurement. Yeah. Please refer to English Guide for finished garment measurements. So we're not putting those in the envelope anymore. That was short-lived. Um, and I want to see how the sizing is broken down. Okay, it is in three separate patterns. Or three separate envelopes. And none of the sizes overlap. Okay. All right. Cool. That's the first one. Good job, Brittany. I love it. Here is Duana. Is that who that is? Yeah. Um, this is her dress top and shorts. I already feel like these patterns are way more trendy than the last collection. I feel like I, I obviously have no idea what the like background process of developing a pattern is like. I don't know if they have to get approval or if they're just carte blanche to do whatever they want. Uh, but this is super cute with the cutout. I love the zipper situation happening here. And then you also get shorts with it. Let's read the, I forgot to read the description. Let's go back. Dress with cutouts in front and back has horseshoe neckline. I guess that's a little bit more oblong than rounded. And extended cap sleeves. Yeah. Dress and crop top both have front separating zippers and boning at seams. Bermuda shorts have folded cuff, fly front zipper, and pockets with top stitching. Wow. This is really a whole capsule. Um, a dress, a top, and shorts. It's one of those like wardrobe patterns. Love it. So this is horseshoe. It looks a little rounded to me. The line drawings may be a little bit more telling. This is a pocket seam. It's like a patch pocket, just like the shorts. Folded up cuff on here. And then this one's just a hem. But the zipper detail is what is so fun to me. They are, you can get some really cool zippers for home sewing these days. I also love that yellow color. Yeah, it might be a little small in the arm's eye. I like to have, you know, two fingers to fit underneath here. Uh, but easy, easy alteration to make. I'm wondering, I'm assuming it's lined. If it's boned, it's got to be lined, right? Oh, I, I did that last time a whole bunch. I don't know how I did that. Oh, there's the back little cutout. So cute. A couple little darts. It's a beautiful picture of her. Okay, so horseshoe to me is like a 
uh, squoble, um, square rounded combination maybe, where it's like a square neckline, but then you just round off the edges a little bit. Really cute. I like how sporty it is. I think if I were to make it myself, I would lean into that a lot. Um, and then if you're not down for the front zipper, just move it to the back. Just move it to the back. No big deal. Just swap out the seams for this. Um, and then you get shorts on top of that, which is really cool. Um, yeah. And I didn't notice, like, other than that arm side, I didn't really notice any fit issues at all. Now, we don't get to see the back of the shorts. The front looks great. Um, good, nice knee length. I like the, the leg opening width um, for a Bermuda short. I like that a lot. We just don't get to see the back of them. So, um, all right. That one's really cute. I think we could have a lot of fun with all of these different like seamings, with stripes, with, you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Now we've got Aronica. Now, last collection, correct me if I'm wrong, she's the one that had the, the crop top with the sheer sleeves that had like rosettes on it or something. That was my favorite look of the whole shebang last time. Um, you know what? Hold on. I have to go back. I didn't do Dewana justice because I forgot to look at the line drawings. I mean, the pattern envelope. Just totally skipped over it. My bad. Okay. So chambray, cotton, gingham, twill, denim, linen blends. Yeah. Anything like mid-weight, stable would be perfect. Anything, you can even kind of go a little bit heavyweight, I think. Um, so you do need the boning. I don't know how necessary the boning is for this pattern. It's fun to play around with, um, to learn how to do it. It's really, really easy to do. Boning typically is in like strapless stuff or like something that is really delicate. I think you could probably get away with not using boning on this one, but separating zipper for top and for the skirt and then all your stuff that you need for the shorts. And this comes in sizing eight to 26. So that is a bust of 31 and a half to 48. And there's three inches of ease in the bust and the same, or wait, yeah, the same in the hip. So pretty close fitting through and through. But Okay. There you go on that. Couldn't leave that out. Okay, anyways. Back to Arana cuz I think that um like I said hers was like my favorite last time. So I'm like, excited to see what this what she brings this time. Um, bustier top with optional straps has boning <laughs> um at front and visible side seams visible no what am i reading op wait what let's start over bustier top with optional straps has boning at front and side seams where did i see visible oh down here wow my eyes are jumping all over the place pencil skirt with high slit has a crossover at the front and an invisible side zipper separate pattern pieces pieces are included for cup sizes c d and double d because it's women's they're not doing an ab cup but that means it also goes up to a double d which is nice yeah, full on bustier boning here makes perfect sense to support the bra cup. Um, and then you have a waistband crossover, like, I don't know, kind of like a take on a tulip skirt. See how this one is strapless. So obviously you'd need the boning to hold that up. And then this one has the tie straps. Yeah, I like how she shows a upscale version and then not as much more casual version. Oh, the line drawings are so cute. All right, here's the back of the envelope. Cotton blends crepe. Suggested fabrics were A, B, and C. Okay, that means the bra top and skirt can be sewn in cotton blends crepe, lightweight denim, linen blends, sateen, and stretch wovens. But the Bustier can also be in brocade, dupioni, uh, chanton, gingham, jacquard, silky types, and velvet. Yeah, okay, so I've never sewn a bustier top before, 
wait, how much? Okay, because so we have boning, bias tape, bra underwires, separating zipper, invisible zipper, and hook and eye. So other than a little bit of lightweight fusible interfacing and aligning, I guess you could do a lot with the lighting. I was a little bit concerned that some of these lightweight fabrics, like would that really be that supportive? But I guess with the bra cups, I'm sorry, the bra underwires and interfacing, and I'm assuming you can put cups in as well, um, it would be enough. The support isn't coming from the fabric is my point. The support is coming from the boning, from the construction, um, and from some of these other notions. All right, so 16 to 26, which is a bust of 38 to 48. Um, if you're curious, I do fit into the size 16 bust. Um, so I could technically make this, even though it's like I am like in that crossover. So I'm on the higher end of misses and the lower end of women's, but I'm not a C cup, I don't think. Um, so it would be like, I'd have to, where I don't have to do any bust adjustments on the misses, I would have to do small bust adjustments on the women's. Um, so just double check the measurements. Um, you may be one of those crossover girlies as well. Um, it, it has, I know it sounds really like awesome in this application, and it is, but it, it has its downsides as well. Um, there's a lot of times where I have to buy both, like in the misses, I'll have to buy both pattern sizes in order to get one that fits the top and the bottom. So it can be a little bit complicated, but um, I'm happy to see that this size range includes those of us who are like mid-size girlies. Okay, so, oh wait, it goes up to, I'm sorry, it goes 16 to 26 and then 28 to 38. So it does, it does go up to a 60 inch bust. And then anytime they're having all these sizing like this, they're leaving off the finished garment measurements. That's really pretty. Um, I'm not entirely convinced I would know where to wear this. I mean, she's obviously rocking this out in this like casual application, which I think would be more my aesthetic, but I don't know that I would reach for <laughs> strapless bustier very often. Um, it is really cute though. Who knows? Maybe I should just give it a whirl and see what happens. I don't know. Okay. All right. Next, we have the lovely Butte du Jour. J'adore. Butte J'adore. Getting better at my French after watching Emily in Paris. <laughs> Okay, dress with lined bodice features, shaped tiers with gathers at front, high neckline, bust darts, slant pockets, and invisible back zipper. Dress includes full sleeves and mid or long length options and elastic at sleeve hem. This is adorable. Okay, basic little, is it a dirndl bodice? Um, full sleeve here. Um, with the elastic at the bottom, or you can have this shorter length or the longer length. And then I think all the skirts are the same. So it's, I don't know if it's intended to be rounded. We'll check the line drawings, but it's a little bit of an empire waist. It's like higher than her natural waist. And then one tier here and then another one here. This has got to be, right? This has got to be intentional, scoopy. I, for whatever reason, I'm getting Sex in the City vibes from this. I don't know why. Um... I don't know if that's just like a, a memory, like she wore something similar to this. I don't know. I'm just feeling very strong Sex in the City vibes. There's the back. Those sleeves are something else. Okay, perfect. All right, so it is a curved empire waist, slant pockets, and then look at this. That is so fun. And I love that she did it in like mid-weight fabrics too. Let's see what it recommends. Cotton blends, linen blends, seersucker, novelty sequin, double knit, taffeta, and gauze. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she used some kind of like 
some kind of like special occasion fabric for hers because the the gathers just held up so well. I mean, you can see really see it right here, right? How all those gathers and then of course the sleeve, you know, really stands away from the body too. Okay. Um one invisible zipper and then some elastic. That's it. It's size 8 to 26. So the bust goes from 31 and a half to 48. Do you see how there's a little bit of crossover here between these sizes and the last ones? And then everything else is pretty negligible. I mean, even the bust is really roomy. Um, they have three inches of ease here, which doesn't seem right to me because um, on her, at least, hold on, let me get... Well, okay, maybe it is a little bit more fitted than I gave it credit for. So, yeah, all right. Yeah, three inches of ease, perfect. Another really cute one. I love that lime green, too. So cool. Nikki, that's right. Yeah, that one's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It's kind of like the skirt is giving me Nashville vibes, right? Doesn't that look like, I don't know, like a little bit country western? But then the sleeve, which really takes it up a notch. That's really fun. Really, really fun. All right, moving right along. We're going to go into some menswear now. I'm going to tell you I'm not great at analyzing menswear, especially when, like, when it comes to fit. So <laughs> we probably will just skim over that unless I see something like super egregious. But we'll just talk about the fit, the style. This is Sins of Many. Scorpio Uza. Windbreaker style jacket has half zipper front closure front pocket with flap and elastic at bottom and sleeve bands. Color blocked fly front pants have contrast back waistband. Belt carriers and leg panels. View B has front zipper pockets. View C has patch pockets. Both views have Back zipper pockets and zippers at leg opening. Wow. Okay. A lot happening here. He does look really freaking cool though. <laughs> I gotta give him that. All right. So this, this looks a little bit dark to me, um, the photo. Um, so I'm having a hard time pulling out the details, but it looks like you have your standard zip front. Love the contrast yellow. That was such a good choice. Elastic at the hem, elastic at the cuffs. This is the flap. Can you see this rounded situation? And there might be like buttons or snaps there too, which I'm guessing that whole thing is a pocket. I'm assuming raglan sleeves, maybe with a dart on top. And then a collar, like a really nice substantial collar. Here's the pants. So the pants have an inner leg panel. Why don't they do that for girls? That's so cool. And then this little zipper here. So it actually means there's like a front inner and a back inner. There has to be a seam here. There's your patch pockets. You know, fits over the shoe nice. Yeah. Like a riding pant, kind of. Very close fitting. Um, did they show the back of the pant ever? No, because it talked about a contrast something in the back and the waistband. Oh, because the back is elastic. That's interesting. And also, what's this little doodad here? I don't know. So patch pockets, zipper pockets, zipper pockets. Wow, this is like a very involved menswear pattern but it is really cool all right so windbreaker we've got cotton blends nylon sweatshirt fleece terry knit lightweight denim and then for the pants also chino corduroy cotton blends denim linen blends cotton twill okay i mean i mean i guess yeah you can make a windbreaker out of just about anything but not all of these fabrics are going to break the wind <laughs> Um, but you still have the style lines. I just think those inner panels of the legs are what's most like catching my eye. Um, 
zipper. Yeah, there are snaps for that flap. And also Velcro in there too. Two inch elastic, nice hearty elastic for the hem. Um, two and a half inches of elastic for somewhere. I guess that maybe that's the hem and this is the sleeve band. And then for the pants, three zippers, a button, zippers, elastic. And then additional zippers for the inner leg cinch, I think. Oh, no, for the, I don't know, extra zippers. All right, this is where menswear kind of loses me, but 34 to 52, which translates to the sizes and the chest measurement are always the exact same. And then the hip measurements fall in accordingly. This is very close-fitting pants. See how there's only like one and a half inches of ease? Very, very close fitting. And then the pants have elastic, so the waist is sort of negligible, but um, maybe that's the waist. Yeah, that's got to be the waist of the jacket, not the pant. Oh, a waist, duh. Okay, so there you go. Cool. This is Julian. Julian brings us Men's button-up shirt with contrast Italian collar, cute. Has long, uh, sorry, short or long sleeves with contrast cuffs. Pants include front pleats, slash pockets, single welt back pockets, and belt loops. Comes with straight or cuffed wide leg options. Okay, so I don't know exactly what Italian collar means, but I mean, it looks cool. Um, and then it looks like he took a fabric that has like opposite colorways and used that for the facing and the inside of the collar, like the collar facing, and then also the cuffs. That's fun. He did the same sort of like contrast detail on this. Pants are pretty standard. Pleats, belt loops, you have your standard straight leg, and then this is the cuffed one, which is a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, it's giving me like, um, oh gosh, what is it called in uh, Greece? Um, the men, the little boys group, little gang. It's giving me those vibes, like 50s, kind of. Right? Doesn't that look like, isn't, are they the greasers? Is that right? Oh, especially, yeah, the short sleep. That's probably what's giving me that. Yeah, I guess Italian collar means it's like grown on into this little shape. I don't know. You also have a back yoke, which they didn't show with little pleats here. And then, oh, there's no waistband. I didn't even know that was a thing in menswear. Wow. Okay. That's definitely giving like 50s vibes, right? Maybe even earlier than that. Pleats slash or slant pockets a couple of darts in the back and welt pockets. Cool. Here is the back. Cotton blends, gingham, linen blends, poplin shirtings, cotton lawn. Yeah. And then also for the pants, I'm loving that they're separating out these fabric requirements. I talk about this all the time and so far they've done it with almost every single pattern where it matters. Um, also for the pants, cotton blends, linen blends, suiting, lightweight twill, lightweight wool blends. Perfect. And then some lining, fusible, interfacing, uh, buttons, buttons, zipper, hook, closure, and buttons. And then you can tell the difference in the hip here is six and a quarter inches maybe. So you can see the difference between the last pants pattern versus this one in terms of ease. Like way less fitted on this one. All right, super cool. I love that. That's a cool design for sure. Something unexpected. All right, this is Alyssa, I believe. Yep, Alyssa Threads, a.k.a. Alyssa Ashton. I don't think I ever knew her last name. Stylish spring tops feature bust cup darts. Were we just talking about this with the McCall's release about how bustier tops are like having a moment? <laughs> I wasn't kidding. We've had three. This is our third bust cup pattern, like bustier type of pattern. Um, so bust cup, well, they're calling this bust cup darts. I'll have to look and see exactly what that means. But 
Um, princess seams with ruffle finish and button closure. View A has long blue sawn sleeves. View B has short sleeves and elastic at shoulder and cuffs. View C has self tie shoulder straps. All right, so getting in here a little bit. What did they call that again? Bust cup seams? Bust cups darts. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to see any darts from these photos because their pattern is so, the fabric is so patterny. Um, but the main thing to consider in tops like this that have like an underbust seam is that it actually goes to your underbust. Um, other than that, like this is pretty easy to fit, I think. I love that it's like got a like midriff section and then it's a little fun flirty peplum. I'm also hearing that peplums are coming back too. Um, so I know that was like, uh, that was, um, it, it, it was everywhere when it first happened. So I don't know um, how it'll be this go around. But look how pretty it is in this like sheer weight, right? And then that's the floral again. That's the self tie strap situation in gingham. Lovely. Cute. I love that she made all three versions. Um, these are the back buttons. Now, we talk about this a lot. Um, just the sheer practicality of being able to button those yourself. Um, and I'm not even talking about, like, I'm not even dipping into the territory of those that have arthritis or just are not very flexible. I'm just talking about everyday people like me who have no, you know, health, bone, joint issues. Um, I don't know that I could button those. I guess you put it on, like you put the midriff part on with the buttons facing front and then swivel it to the back and put your arms in the sleeves. That would be the only way I can think you'd get, get into it. Um, I would probably maybe swap this out for a zipper. I don't know. I'm just, I don't really love buttons. I don't think, I mean, maybe it's because they look a little bit sloppy, but it's it's just a lot of work, right? A, a zipper just goes right in. Um, so yeah, you could do a little itty bitty zipper with a um, hook and eye up here. That would be a really easy swap. Or, or you could sure the back, these little, there's a panel here, I think, and you could sure that. Let's look at the line drawings just to make sure before I get everybody excited. No, there's not. Well, you could sure the entire back panel and that would mean you would also not need to sew these darts. But, so this is the bust cup darts that they mean, this here and this here. Um, so it definitely is the illusion of a bustier. I really do like this little like ruched situation happening. I think it's a really elegant, feminine, romantic, lovely way to shape the boobs. <laughs> um, and then the three sleeve detail, three sleeves. This one, I, I've kind of gone away from self tie cause it's just like, the, they just get in the way, like a catch on your purse. Um, so I'm not loving that. I would convert that to like an actual strap, which is fine um, and easy enough to do. You just measure the actual length and use that instead. You can even make them adjustable with the little, you know, notions. But, but yeah, it's really sweet, right? Chambray, lightweight cotton, cotton blends, dotted Swiss, eyelet, gingham, linen blends, poplin, seersucker, and shirtings and voile. So yeah, a lot of those like lightweight but stable fabrics. Um, four buttons, single fold bias tape for A and B. Oh, I bet it's for this little elastic situation, I think. Uh, elastic again and elastic again. Okay, eight to 26 on the size range. Your, yeah, the waist I think is probably the most fitted part. And that is, has two inches of ease in it. So yeah, really close fitting. Q 
cute. And although it's our third, like, bustier style, they're all so different, which is nice. This is Kichi, a.k.a. I'm oh, sorry, Kichi B. Style, a.k.a. Marcia Spencer. Um, she, okay, I remember her pattern from last time. It gave a very similar, not a similar vibe, but didn't she have a shirt dress, coat dress thing last time? This is a wrap dress with belt. Um, very cool, very kind of urban, very kind of out there, but still like I'd wear it to Target, which is cool. Color block wrap dress in two lengths with shirt details and belt has wide notch collar cargo pockets on sides and chest inside ribbon ties and epaulets with button closure dress has short sleeves or sleeveless option yeah so wrap dress epaulets nice big um collar but the sleeves are like unexpected you would normally think you'd have like a straight sleeve but no we have this like i don't know fanned out moment um, I love the color blocking. That's so interesting. And the, the way the patch pockets are like 3d, like they stand away from the dress. That's really cool and fun too. The length is nice, or you can go this shorter length. Let's see that picture bigger. Um, oh, I love it with the white boots too. So this one, she did the chest pockets, Oh no, she did the hip pockets too. Just no color blocking. Okay, it kind of blends in with this busy print, but. And then sleepless there, obviously. Maybe a little long in the shoulder here. I don't think it's supposed to be like a grown on sleeve, but I don't mind it because it kind of looks like one of those little cap sleeve situations. Yeah, it's cool. And then if all this, you know, hoopla is not for you, just leave the pockets off. I still think it would look super cool, color blocked. Um, you could even do like, instead of solids, you could do like matching plaids. You could do like a big gingham and a little gingham. You could have a lot of fun with the color blocking. I don't know why I never thought of that. But yeah, it's really cool. Belt carriers, love all that. Got a lot of really good details here. Um, okay, so chambray, cotton blends, gingham, linen blends, poplin shirtings, the same things that everybody else has been suggesting. Twill, cotton sateen, um, satin, and denim. Satin, denim is not a thing, so <laughs> just missing a comma. Satin, denim, can you imagine? Okay, uh, 10 to 18, and then 20 to 38 on the size range. And then no finished garment measurements. But because it's like, I, I imagine the the um, bust measurement is kind of close fitted. But again, it's a wrap. So it's, there's a little bit of wiggle room there. No pun intended. Yeah, it's really cool. She's also just really good at picking fabrics and colors and prints. Like that's one of her superpowers for sure. Okay. Now we have, okay, so this is Gwen. I think this is her very first pattern. Gwen Stella made, yeah, Gwen Stella is her Instagram handle. Um, dress A has sweetheart neckline, large bow at back, and bishop sleeves. Dress B has oversized bow at front and flare sleeve. Both dresses have V line at back and invisible zipper closure. Okay, so she's... The way I know her online is from her refashions. She is so good um, at buying something at like Goodwill or wherever and then visualizing what it can be and then making that come to life. Um, absolutely obsessed with this bow front option. You have the gigantic puff sleeve with the flare. And then this one has the puff sleeve, but it comes down to a cuff. And then I think there's a seam here. We'll look at that. This sweet little A-line skirt. Love that. Let's get a look at the backs. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Especially with like the French twist. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's really sweet. And then just the plain um, back. If you have the bow in the front, obviously you could add the bow both. You could have a bow in the front and a bow in the back. Bow it up, baby. Um, all right, a curved empire waist seam with a little bit of gathers here, and then long darts um, in the skirt, and then the back just has the darts. Again, a simple design but executed really well. It's it's definitely giving me like throwback vibes, like fifties vibes, right, or sixties maybe. Um, It's really fun. I can't, I gotta say, I don't love the fabrics that she chose. They feel a little bit, I'll say, inexpensive. Um, like, yeah, not my favorite fabrics to pick, but um, I think in the right fabric, it could be really cool. All right, cotton blends, crepe, double Georgette, rayon, and silky types. The bodice must be lined because there's a polyester and a cotton blend um, lining suggestion. And then 8 to 26 on the size range. So the bust has 3.5 inches of ease in it. The waist has 2.5, and, and the hip has almost 10. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, I, I wish that the fabric choices leaned in a little bit more. Like this here is giving me like strong 70s vibes, this this sleeve here. And this pink is not serving that for me. Yeah, I don't, I'm having a hard time like coming up with what I would have done instead. And maybe it's one of those things you just have to see it. This one's okay, because it does feel a little bit 60s. But maybe this one could have been, like, lean into the 70s a little bit more. But looking at the line drawings, which I'll go back to, it's really sweet and fun. Even this, right? Doesn't this just look 70s? Just the line drawing of it? I also wonder what it's like sleeveless. Super easy to do if the bodice is lined. That could modernize it. That would take it up to the 2000s at least. You know, <laughs> just going through all the decades here. Okay, now we have the Corny Rainbow, a.k.a. Nefertiti Griggs. Make a statement in this must-have crop top and skirt set. Um, Yeah, definitely making a statement. Long sleeve tops feature a cut-out neckline. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that top before. Um, with a purchased buckle at the front. View B has elastic details on the sleeves. Two, skirts and two links have asymmetric flounces at the front and back and invisible side zippers. Okay, let's get into this. It's like a swimsuit and a top had a baby and it made this. But I mean, are you kidding me? Look at this. That is incredible. I mean, we're not going to Target in that, but we're definitely going on a cruise. We're definitely going to like Malta. We're going to like the Italian Riviera. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this is transportive. Is that a word? It just transports you to somewhere else. Like we're, we're going. Wow. I wish I I had somewhere to go. Oh, and then there's a back cutout too. Wow. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, it's not a back cutout. It's a crop top. I keep forgetting. Okay. It's really, really, really cool. I don't even think this does it justice. This is the one, not the one time, but one of the few times when the sample actually does a better job of illustrating the design than the line drawings do. 
I can not imagine how much fabric this uh, takes. It's so cool. I'm definitely not cool enough to wear this. Where is that skirt? Skirt C, D, yeah. Up to five, somewhere between four and a half and five and three quarters of a yard. Yeah, for sure. Um, Batik cotton lawn, cotton blends, crepe, double georgette, lightweight linen blends, poly silky types. There is a lining, of course. Um, separating zipper, hook and eye, two inch buckle, bias tape. Even if I had like a festival or a concert or like something, <laughs> throw me a bone. I got nothing planned. All right. Uh, sizes 8 to 26. So that means the bust goes from thir uh, yeah, 31 and a half to 48. Finish garment measurement wise. They're not giving a finished bust measurement. Why is that? I don't know. But the waist, this is just the skirt measurements. So one inch in the waist, perfect sense. And then in the hip, there's three inches. Close fitting little skirt. I don't know why they're not getting finished on the bodice. But yeah, stunning. Definitely by far the most like memorable. At the last two, we've got two more menswear patterns. This is Norris's um, contribution. Oversized boxy hoodie has options for long sleeves with bands or short sleeves with raw edges. Shorts are mid knee length with elastic and drawstring waistband and side seam pockets. I, I must have seen this somewhere along the way already. This uh, release has been out for maybe a week, maybe a little bit longer. And I know that these shorts are going to get some criticism. Like, I know you guys are going to be like, this looks like a wet, soggy diaper. I know that. But I kind of think they are super, super cool for me. <laughs> Am I losing it? I, I don't know. I'm just really vibing with these shorts. They're just so weird that like, I want them. Um, but like, look at the hoodie. I mean, we've taken a hoodie and like really elevated it. So we've got the, it's like the hoodie that's like a astronaut helmet, you know, where it's not separate through here. It's your, you know, frames your face. Um, which makes like a, when you have the hoodie down, it creates like almost like a turtleneck. It's really cool. Um, drop shoulder, we have a kangaroo pocket on both of them. This one just has raw hems, which I also love that detail. Um, yeah. It's cool, I think. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, love that. And you can see how easy the raw hem is. You could do that to any of your sweatshirts for sure. Wow, look at that elastic. That is like two and a half inches maybe. Is this helping you guys with the shorts? Are you liking them more or less? <laughs> oh, I need to see the back of the shorts for sure. Okay, so this has actually a bit of flair to it in the back. Oh, okay, the back of the shorts have the diaper too. Okay. I don't know. I still think I could just like rock those out. I don't know what part of my like brain is telling me that like these, <laughs> that this diaper would be cool on me. Um, it's really just like, uh, remember those, um, I can't remember boxer briefs. Isn't that what they're called? It's like oversized boxer briefs in sweatshirt fleece. Have you ever worn men's boxer briefs before? Easily some of the most comfortable undergarments I've ever put on my body. Why women have like leg cutouts and like, you know, bikini brief, this, that, and the other thing, when we could just be wearing shorts all the time? Are you kidding me? How did that happen? Um, this justice for the boy short, <laughs> right? Anyways, that's not what this is at all, but... 
yeah, I think it's super cool. It looks elevated. It looks expensive. I'm here for it. Okay. Uh, stretch knit such as fleece, double knit sweatshirt fleece, French cherry. Yep. The problem is, is that I was just at Joanne today, and this is obviously just because it's like a big box retail store, but they didn't have any of these like thicker sweatshirt fleeces. We'd have to get all of those online, um, which is fine. But okay. Um, so there is a stretch gauge on this one. Not that this matters even less than the other time I was talking about this with um, uh, uh, Brittany's pattern. So I don't know whether just, you don't need a stretch gauge on this one. You just, it's elastic and the rest of it's just oversized, but whatever. Um, okay, so it is two and a half inch elastic. Drawstring cord and barrel stoppers, optional. So we've got a small up to 2X. The small has a chest of, yeah, 50, 50, and then the hip is 39. So sort of close fitting on the hip. I'd have to size up to a medium <laughs> if I wanted to make this for myself. Actually, I think I might even be a large. I don't remember my hip measurement off the top of my head. Somewhere in here. Um, but I'm going to make these unless you guys literally, like, tear me apart in the comment section. And you're going to love them. <laughs> I'm feeling, um, the, the, oh gosh, what was it? Crinkle rayon jumpsuit thing. You guys did not like that. And this has a similar vibe to that for sure. Okay. Norris also gave us some men's jeans. Straight leg jeans feature rivet details, a carpenter hammer loop, front leg patches, fly front zipper and button closure. So kind of like their, his take on like cargo. Oh, look at this. What is this? Just a patch? Did it say? I wasn't paying attention as I was reading. Rivet details. Oh, yeah, front leg patches. Well, that's interesting. There's a little hammer loop. Fly front. Typical jean situation happening, except for these with rivets on the, on the ends. And then here it is in like more of a chino type fabric. I like this way more. This should be the main picture. With the cardigan and everything, I don't know, super cool. Yeah, that's so much more my my vibe. Oh, we get a back view, thank you. Yeah, standard jean. And fun with rivets. Yeah, so cool. There's another something or another happening here. I can't tell what it is, though. Wait, is this the seam? They did it again with this, like, inner panel. Is there a reason why girls' pants don't have that? Why are we struggling with seams going up into our hoo-hahs and the guys don't have to deal with that? Like, why is my inner thigh, like, raw from having a seam here, and the guys don't have to worry about that at all? There's also, like, a flare here. Can you see how it's a bit of a flare versus a straight leg? Oh, yeah, here's a good comparison. Ugh. Seeing these menswear patterns and, like, evaluating them like this makes me mad as a woman. <laughs> okay. Cotton blends, chino, corduroy, denim, linen blends, and twill. Yeah, all your bottom weights. Lining for the waistband, I'm assuming. Uh, a zipper, button, and 19 rivets. Rivet. Um, they are a little bit, I want to say low rise. That's a, Is that what they use? Is that a menswear term? But it just sits below the waist a little bit, not at the waist, not high rise. Um, and then, <coughs> excuse me. And then the hip has just one inch of ease. So kind of like one of those, do they call them, do they call them skinnies in men's? You know, close fitting. I don't really love the skinny term for men or women, but nonetheless. Okay, so I think that's it, you guys. That's our second Know Me collection. I really, really, really feel like this is 
a vast improvement. I mean, none of this was bad, but this to me feels like new and fresh and exciting. Um, I'm here for it. Can't wait to hear what you guys think. Are you going to be picking up any of these patterns? Um, from what I understand, when McCall's is on sale, Nomi is also on sale, I think, at Joanne. I think, don't quote me on that. Um, but I'd love to know if you're going to be grabbing any of them. As you can see, they're all on sale now if you want to order them online. Um, but yeah, just really curious to know what's standing out for you, what you love, what you hate. Um, yeah, we'll chat about it in the comments. That's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.